So today was a good day for the bulls in the MJ sector. I'm taking a look at the same tickers that I've been looking at over the last couple of videos and also a new one. And basically, yes, we had a big day today. So what we wanna look at is if we have changed any trends along the way and if we can possibly see some continuation beyond this move. So I'm starting with Cron, and the reason why I'm starting with Cron is because um, I actually haven't analyzed this in my last couple of videos, but when I used to trade the sector very actively, this was what we used to call the Cron Decator. So when Cron would have the big day coming out of the gate, then that would cue the rally. So this is a big day for Cron. We had a 25% gain today. But let's look a little bit closer at the chart. So you can see that we had started forming this solid base of support, which we're gonna be looking at a bunch of the tickers that I have analyzed previously, and this is the support base that we were watching. And then we just had a huge gap up this morning and a spring off this base of support. Now this is the kind of thing that I've been waiting for, and this is why I have been scaling in small in this sector. When we run, we run hard and we run without warning, and it basically we go sideways for a long time after support, and then we have a big move like this and I prefer not to chase moves like this I prefer to be in on the ground floor so basically that's why I've been keeping such an eye on this sector so today a 25% move from Cron let's go in and look at the hourly chart every hour consecutively higher than the hour before higher low higher high every hour even on post market so we closed very strong today we closed at the high of the day and typically when that happens we could look for continuation tomorrow and if we take a look at the hourly on cron we have had consecutively high hours throughout the entire trading day higher highs higher lows being continuously made and uh, we have had no hourly consolidation yet so but we have touched this SMA 100, we've broken through it. So tomorrow we should probably see a little bit of consolidation because we've had so many green hours in a row and our RSI levels are getting a little bit high up here. Our RSI levels over 80 on the hourly. I wanna see some consolidation tomorrow on Cron to keep this chart healthy. And now looking at CGC, I actually do have a position here, and this is when I had added small, somewhere around the 13s, and I'm held through the ER, which I don't normally do, but we were very close, very close to the bottom, and I'm holding here for a longer position. So um, this morning when I saw that we were starting to hold some support, After coming down here, I saw that we were holding, this area of support was holding, so I added again and brought my average completely down, so now I'm sitting nice and green in this trade and I didn't chase anything, so this worked out really well so far. So with CGC, we are not looking as strong as Cron, not even close, but we do have a higher high and a higher low as opposed to Friday, and Friday was a big drop, so what we wanna see is some continuation tomorrow to ensure that CGC is going to be on its way to a little bit of recovery here. So the level that I wanna see us get through right now is this 1338 level, so that we can have an hourly trend change. Because at this point, we are still in, um, you are still in a daily downtrend and we're nowhere near this SMA 100 on the daily, which is what we wanna look for and which is what we saw in Cron. So it's gonna be baby steps going forward with CGC. I'm going to keep holding my positions and adding to it on weakness, selling in strength all the way up. And if I see rejections, then I will just exit because uh, this was a big day, but it wasn't as big as the rest of the sector, so I do want to see some continuation, and that's what I'm looking for here with CGC. Tilray um, was always looking strong. I had found this trend lines in, um, the, I think, the last video that I did on the sector, and we had held, we've been continuing to hold this trend line, so I've been continuing to hold my position, and we had a nice move off this trend line today. So we have gone through resistance, and we've changed the daily trend here. And that's good because we got over the last move where we had this last big move. We got through 
we had some resistance here on the SMA50 and that SMA50 resistance is what we pulled back from and now we've gone through that level. So we've passed, we've cleared that SMA50 by far. The next thing we're gonna be watching for is getting through this SMA100 level and um, the RSI is not as extended here as Cron, so we are not in as desperate need for consolidation. We've had a little bit here. It was not as huge of a day as it was for Cron. So, but it is starting to look a little bit wedgy on the hourly. So I would look for some consolidation here on the hourly. Well, it could also be a channel. So we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow. We closed really strong. So again, when we close strong, we could see some continuation with this move tomorrow. And I'll be watching for the top of that continuation into possibly um, taking some profit and then looking to re-enter Tilray after a move like this. I wanna take my profit and then look to re-enter. But in this sector, I'm a little bit more comfortable when we're running to hold a little bit longer than I do in some of the other areas just because well, we've been beat up for so long, and when we rally, we rally hard. There's lots of shorts that are going to be covering if we get past certain levels. So if we clear levels, then I'm not going to be so quick to exit my positions. Now, if we just come quickly and look at the weekly chart of Tilray, we can see that we are just touching that SMA100, which that isn't really that long you know we don't have that much history on this chart but it's long enough to have 100 days an sma 100 on the weekly so it's it's a small one but how valid that is we'll wait and see but that is a level we just touched that sma 100 so we'll see if that's going to be a rejection or if we can clear that and then we can also see once we get through that we have some decent resistance that we're going to be going through on Tilray. So those are the levels that I'm going to be watching. And I will wait to see where we go tomorrow. Then I'll start to so plot out some uh, key resistance levels that I'll be watching and um, probably post that in the next video. SNDL, I started a position here today when I saw that we were breaking out of this wedge. This was just getting super duper tight and I was keeping an eye on this wedge. And when we started to break out of it this morning with the other tickers in the sector running is when I entered a position here. Very volatile penny stock, won't stay in this one for long, but it is something that you can profit off of because it does move pretty hard when it moves. So we had a pretty decent today, uh, day today, so just turn my volume back on, and you can see we had quite a bit of bull volume. So that was a decent move from SNDL. We did get a little bit of consolidation after hours, which is good. It's not as extended as Cron, because you can see the RSI, we were hitting through the roof, and we've come back down on the hourly. So we um, are pulling back a little bit after hours. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. We cleared this SMA 50 on the daily, which is really good. But before that, this 68 was a key level that I was watching. And when we cleared that, I made my second add to my scaling in position, because that was some really decent resistance that we had to clear and we cleared that with a pretty decent velocity. So <laughs> I am staying in this position for a while, but not up and I'll probably empty or I'll probably exit right before the earnings, which is November 11th. So how I decide if I want to exit this ticker is I am taking a look at the daily resistance levels and watching those and I will see how we get through these levels. If we reject these levels and then we start changing our hourly trend and going and heading back down, then that's going to be when I'm going to take my profit and then look to re-enter. That's basically how I play these tickers that are in downtrends. I'm going to do the same thing with CGC. I watch the resistance levels. Then if we reject them, I exit. So the volume is gonna be something that I'm watching pretty intently in this sector because we need to have volume if we wanna see some recovery happening here. If we start to lose our volume and we're just dying down and then uh, the bears start coming back and we start seeing more bear volume than bull volume, then that along with my resistance levels that I'm watching will be my key to exiting these positions. So until I see that, I'm just gonna stay in these positions. If I don't see anything wrong with the charts, then I'm gonna stay in them. 
CXXI. Last time I analyzed this one, it was one of the weaker ones of the bunch. The level I had on my chart was the 65 cent level here. And you can see that since my last video, which was uh, about a week ago, just over a week ago, we've formed this nice solid base of support. And then over the last two days, we've had some bull moves. Now we've left a little bit of a gap below here on CXXI which I didn't really mention this, but Cron also has a gap below, but Cron is so far high that I wouldn't worry too much about that gap right now if you are in a position, but like I said, Cron needs to um, have consolidation anyway, so hopefully you're looking at taking profit if you're in that position. CXXI hasn't had as big of a move. We are not as extended on the RSI here, but we have this tiny little gap, and with this inverted hammer, it's likely that we are gonna close that gap in the morning or we can consolidate down here. We don't have after hours trading, so oh, it's not that far away to close this gap. So I would not get into any position here until this gap gets closed at 75 cents. And then going back to the daily, we've cleared this SMA 50. So basically after we come down and um, fill this gap, it would be nice to see a bounce back up and get back over today's level and let's go for making a higher high tomorrow. And the next level we wanna look at is this SMA 100 on the daily. And um, if we can get through that, and we can start changing the daily trend in CXXXI. Now ENTG is one that I looked at in my last video. That was a request and I'm taking another look at it. It I had mentioned that we were at the ultimate low and there were no levels to watch, but over the last few days, we have been forming this nice little base of support. Now, if you've watched the video up until now, you can see what happens after that. If we can keep this base of support and in this hold, then we could see a bull move going forward if the whole rest of the sector keeps moving bullishly. But unfortunately, we did close at the low of the day. I don't know what's going on with this company, but it is definitely looking pretty weak here in comparison to a lot of the rest of the tickers in this sector. It's not quite oversold, so I wouldn't be banking on an oversold bounce happening yet. Um, yeah, well, weekly is almost oversold. So again, still weak, this ticker, and earnings is a few days away. So maybe that will change things for these bulls that are holding this position. But watch this level, 0.145, and hope that this is going to hold and that we can see a bounce. ACB. Uh, I don't have any positions here, but I had uh, drawn this channel in the last video that I was watching, and I drew this level of support down here, 650, which I pulled off of the history. So uh, it looks like we had a bounce, and it was off of this level, 662. So we had a good bounce today almost 10% and we are trying to clear this SMA 100. So this is exactly what we expected from ACB in one of the last videos where I said we went through the SMA 100, came back down because we would retest a support level and then we would attempt to get through this SMA 100 again. So that's what's happening. We got through this SMA 100 and we'll wait and see if we can see some follow through tomorrow because we did close strong on ACB, but here we go. It's not quite as extended as Cron, but we haven't had much hourly consolidation. The RSI isn't that high, and we did close super strong. So we could see uh, some continuation on ACB tomorrow, but throughout the day, to keep this chart healthy, I would like to see eventually some hourly consolidation coming in to this chart soon. On my chart here, it says that ACB has earnings tomorrow, so that's something to keep in mind if you are in a position here. Wanna see some continuation and hope that we don't have a negative ER reaction, which could bring down some of the sector. And lastly, I just wanna look at oils. So this had been one of the stronger tickers in the sector, and now we're getting a little bit of an inverse correlation with the rest of the sector because we didn't, like basically we just had a sideways day today. But when I look at this chart, it looks to me like we're getting primed for a breakout. I can just draw a nice little triangle here for you, symmetrical triangle. Um, if we can, if we keep getting tight in this pattern, we could see a breakout happening. So we're very close. 
And if you haven't watched my video on the trend lines, make sure you watch that and this will help explain why I'm drawing this. Basically, we generally in this pattern, we will start getting tighter and tighter until we break out and we want to see our volume either going sideways or getting diminished volume. So basically we could break bull or we could break bear at this point. So we will watch for a break of this pattern and see what's going to happen in oils. So that's it for my analysis on all these tickers. Overall, I can see that we are seeing a little bit of some recovery and some bull volume coming back into the sector. So we wanna see some continuation at this point and we wanna look for follow through on these moves. Um, it's not enough just to have one big day because generally, you know, we could just pull back really hard tomorrow. So basically we were gonna watch for the resistance levels that I pointed out going forward, and we can see if we're gonna see some rejections or if we can clear some resistance. It's okay to have some red, it's good to have some consolidation, but we wanna keep going up for the bulls at this point. The bears have had their fun, now it's time for the bulls to have some fun. So good luck to the bulls, and let's see where we go from here.